Hi everyone. Welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh Bhavne. So today I come up with a video which is based upon air quality monitoring by using the Blink IoT platform. So here the components that you need is MQ135 gas sensor and the ESP32 board and the couple of jumper wires. So without wasting time we'll get this started. So first we will see like how to configure the Blink IoT platform and after that we will see the circuit diagram and then I will explain you the coding of this project. So here you can see. So I have already logged into my Blink IoT platform. So in order to send the data from ESP32 port to the Blink IoT platform you need to create a template. So for that here you can see like you need to click on new template. Once you click on new template you need to give the name to that template and then select the hardware that you wanted to work with like here I am using the ESP32 board so that's why I choose this one so it's up to you like you can give the name like for example I can say like this is the project of air quality monitoring so you can write here air quality monitoring the same way you can choose the connection type and also give the description for your template so I have already created the template which is analog input so this is the previous template that I am already using I am using the free version of the Blink ID platform so that's why I am not able to create a one more template. So here, now inside the template what you need to do. So first and most important which is data stream. Uh, so if you are following my Blink ID platform videos then I have already explained you like how to create a template, how to create a data stream, how to set up automation and how to create a mobile dashboard. Everything I have already explained. So I will mention the link of that video in the description box as well as in the i button. So you can watch that videos so that you can gain the complete knowledge about Blink IoT platform. So here you can see I have created one data stream which is sensor input. Here you can like give the name like whatever name you want to give. So here you can see you can able to create one more data stream. Let's click on new and here you need to select a virtual pin. So here you can see in order to send the data you need to write to that particular virtual pin. So what I've done like uh, so what do you need to do you just need to click on new data stream. Just click on that and click on virtual pin and then give the name to the variable or I can say like to that virtual pin so whatever the data you are monitoring so here we can see I have already given the same so I'll open that yeah so here you can see I have selected virtual pin v0 and this data type is integer so you know that the analog input of the ESP32 is getting the maximum value of 4095 so that's why I keep it 4095 click on save. So my data stream is ready with the virtual pin V0. Now I'll go to the web dashboard. Here you can see I have created a dashboard by adding simple widget. So you can add different widgets here you can see like we'll try to add the chart one more widget let's see. Yeah so we have added the chart here. I'll just reduce its size so that we can see. Yeah so just click on the setting and you can give the name like air quality click on add data stream and and select the data stream that you have created so here I have created only one data stream which is sensor input v0 so I'll select on that so here there are various options available so you can select different kinds of chart whatever type of chart you want you can select so now if you click on mobile dashboard so now in order to create a mobile dashboard you need to use the mobile app that is blink IT app so we need to configure that so I have already explained everything about this as well. Yeah, so you need to watch my previous video. So now you need to click on save and apply. Just click on that. And now in order to add the device to the Blink ID platform, you need to go to the search icon. And here on the right hand side, you can see like click on new device. So let's click on new device. Like here you can see I have reached to the maximum device limit because I am using the free version. So in order to add the device, you need to click on new device then you can able to add the device. So I've already added the device for this template which is analog input. I have already created very uh, so here you will see the data onto the widgets. Yeah. So also you are going to get the device info which is blink template ID blink device name and the blink authorization token. So everything related to the device you will get it from here. Yeah. So this is about the blink ID platform. And now we will see the circuit diagram of this project. Yeah. So this is the simple circuit diagram of this project. So I have used MQ135 and the ESP32 port. So VCC is connected to the V in pin of the ESP32 port 
ground is connected to the ground of the ESP32 board and here I have used A0 which is analog output of the MQ135 to the analog input pin which is 34 of the ESP32 board. So this is very simple connection. Now we will see the most important part of this project that is coding. So this is the code in order to update the sensors data to the Blink IT platform. So now I have already told you like from where you will get the Blink template ID, Blink device name and the Blink authorization token. So you will get it from like in the device just go to the device and go to the device info and just copy everything. Just click on copy to clipboard and just go to the code. Here you can see. So directly paste it here. Yeah. And after that you need to install a couple of libraries here. So this is the analog output pin of the gas sensor which is connected to the pin number 34. And here you need to provide your Wi-Fi SSID name and the password for the same. So, so here I am using my mobile phone's hotspot. You can use that as well. Now. Here you can see I have created one function called send sensor. So now we will see what is inside this function. So inside this function we have created a local variable that is analog data and we are storing the values inside it which is sensor input. So by using this command that is analog read we can able to read the analog data which is coming from the sensor and you know that sensor is connected to the pin number 34. So we are storing it into the analog data variable. So now we wanted to see this data onto the serial monitor. So that's why here you can see I have like I have used command serial.println and inside it I have written directly that variable which has the values and given the delay so that it will function smoothly. It's very easy. So in order to send the data to the Blink IoT platform we need to use this command which is blink.virtualwrite and you know that we have used v0 pin. So we need to write to this pin and we are writing what we are writing the data coming from the sensor as you know that we are storing this data into the variable called analog data. This is very simple. Yeah. And now here you can see inside the white setup you need to begin your serial monitor and also these are the things in order to connect your board to the Wi-Fi. And here you can see inside the white loop nothing is there the word loop is completely clean here you just need to write blink dot run and timer dot run everything is same so this is very simple code in order to send the gas sensors data to the blink IT platform and monitor the air quality around you so as you can see like I have already uploaded the same code so as you can see I have already uploaded the same code and now we will see the output onto the serial monitor as well as on the blink IT platform so let me connect my board. Yes, so my board is connected. I just wanted to show you the data on the serial monitor as well as on the. So now you can see the data on the serial monitor. Now we will see the data on the Blink IT platform. So yeah, as it says, device is online. So I'll go to the device. I'll click on dashboard. Now you can see the data on the dashboard is coming. So data is updating on the dashboard. It's completely live now. So this is my setup as you can see on the screen. So here is my MQ135 sensor and here is the smoke producer. Now let's see the data onto the platform. Now I'm giving smoke onto the sensor. Now you can see the data is increasing onto the Blink IoT platform. So this is how you can able to monitor the air quality around you by using the MQ by using the MQ135 gas sensor or it's updating its value. It's completely live. And also you can see the air quality data on the chart. Now you can have now you can make a project where you can able to monitor noise pollution as well as the air quality data around you. So this becomes your find their project. So if you found this video useful for you then do subscribe the channel and like the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.